hello I'm refixing everything and because there is always something to be fixed and modified I want to show you today I think the best modification that you can do on your embroidery machine that doesn't matter if it's $200 or $20,000 because even a very very expensive machine like ZSK which is the, the Bentley in the embroidery have very stupid design unfortunately so when you want to embroider something on this which is uh, just a normal um, home embroidery machine this is a brother mv 800e you need to put the usb drive on the side facing this way with the back and especially when it's close to the wall or somewhere you look into the machine like so and you're just trying to get it in like that and it doesn't happen so the same thing on this um, uh, Janome 500T, it's all the way to the back, I can't even uh, reach it. So the best modification that you can do is just take a cable, USB cable, and run it through the back and have it like so. So you take the USB drive, plug it in, job done. Same thing on here, take the USB drive, plug it in. So now we're going to do that modification on another machine and I'll show you how it's very easy. That's the, that's the machine that we're going to modify. I'll tell you that on a ZSK machine, because they usually connected by a USB cable to a laptop, but when you have like three machines, you need a laptop for each machine and you can't connect them and you just use a USB stick and you don't have a machine all the time around you. So on the very expensive twenty dollar twenty thousand dollar machine the usb stick is on the back uh, good luck so that's a uh, just a normal regular usb female male usb 2 i think uh, cable uh, you don't need it to be very long i think that's like a meter you just put it in and you need a hot glue so the, the way I'm going to put it, you want to put it somewhere where it's easily accessible to you and it uh, doesn't interfere with all the other stuff on the machine. So here we have the bobbin <coughs> winder and here we have the handle. <coughs> so I'll just put it like so. And I want the USB stick to be facing up. There we go, just like here I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to take hot glue now. And we're going to melt a little bit. If you want to remove it at some point, hot glue can be easily removed. You just need your fingernail to uh, get it out. Okay, let's put some glue right in here okay and glue it on there we go just wait for it for a couple of seconds or more like half a minute there we go and now we'll do some cable management as well because i hold my spools on the back here so we're just gonna take it like here i think that's okay or we can put it on the back as well so no one can see it Okay. If you have a glue gun you can use it but it's just not strong enough for me, the glue gun I got.
There we are. Or you can just leave it on the back. And in this way, when you turn the machine on, and you want to use the USB stick, you don't need to be finding where the thing is. You just put it on. And you can see all of your designs very easily. Uh, that's the modification. I think it's very, very simple, very, very quick, inexpensive as well, and it's gonna save you so much time and hassle. And uh, as well, that um, something that I'm worried of is that for how long this stick, this USB port can last. Because if you have a bad solder joints come up because you plug it in like five times a day, you need to take this whole board. The repairman or the repairman to come to you to solder you the board and in this way you only use it <laughs> once when you plug the cable and then you can change the cable if something happens so i hope the video is being helpful to you like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye